السلام علیکم مائی نیم از ارمغان انجم آئی ایم اے ریسرچ آفیسر فرام ڈپارٹمنٹ آف آرتھوٹکس اینڈ پروسٹیٹک جی سی یونیورسٹی فیصل آباد ٹو ڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا سیکنڈ پارٹ آف ابو نی پروسٹیسز اینڈ اٹس کمپوننٹ اوور ویو ان دا لاسٹ پریزنٹیشن آئی ہیو ڈسکس سم آف دا کمپوننٹ وچ آر فٹ اینکل اسمبلی شینگ پیس اینڈ نی اسمبلی ان دس پریزنٹیشن آئی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ ساکٹ سسپینشن ڈیوائسز rotator unit and model reconstruction of the prosthesis socket it is a structural component of prosthesis that enclose stump and provide connection between prosthesis and stump it is made up of either plastic or wood and classified on the shape of interior of proximal portion and design of the distal portion it has following design plug fit quadrilateral total contact non total contact The earliest design of socket which is used in above knee prosthesis is plug fit. It is conical in shape just like the shape of the stump. Amputee weight is borne on the peripheral musculature of thigh while the central musculature remain unused. Although the supporting forces are applied perpendicular to the weight as we know weight of the body is going downward while the supporting forces are applied from the side of the socket. But they must generate vertical forces equal to the downward forces. so that the socket can remain on the stump this type of socket does not allow remaining musculature to work their full capacity resulting in atrophy and displacement of muscle above the brim creating flesh rolls this type of socket is now superseded by more preferable quadrilateral socket quadrilateral socket this type of socket differ from the cylindrical shape of stump because its proximal portion is quadrangular having four walls as shown in figure below this socket have easier seat for proper weight bearing and relief for weight sensitive area so that weight is distributed selectively which mean more weight on weight tolerant area and less weight on weight sensitive area total contact socket it is the most advanced socket type which is currently used this type of socket cover the entire surface of the stem including the distal end the distal end may be hard because of plastic laminate or soft having a resilient pair depending on the shape of distal end which may be either sensitive or have scar tissue as this socket cover entire surface of the stump so weight distribution and pressure distribution is better than non total contact socket non total contact socket in this type of socket the distal end of stump is not covered this space or chamber have opening permitting free movement of air in and out of socket The only advantage of this socket is good ventilation of amputated stump and dissipation of heat. This air chamber should be airtight if suction is to be used as a mean of suspension. Suspension devices. These are the devices which hold socket on the stump. Following suspension devices may be used in above knee prosthesis that are suction alone or suction with axillary suspension, partial suction with axillary suspension. silicon bandage pelvic belt and special devices suction suspension as name indicate it creates suction to hold socket on the stump so it is indicated in young active amputees having well shaped and fairly strong stump it has a valve to expel air during stance phase to create suction within the socket as shown in figure during swing phase when gravity tend to pull prosthesis away suction created by expelling of air hold the socket in place A very close fit is required to make it airtight so no stump sock is worn. Donning of suspension. A donning sock is required to pull limb into the socket which is then removed by pulling through the valve hole. Advantages of suction suspension include greater freedom of motion, increased use of remaining musculature, less piston action, comfort and cosmesis. While this the advantages include close and accurate fitting require series of modification and adjustments unsuitable for elderly amputees as they lack the necessary muscle power sometimes additional suspension is required to retain the suction socket or control its motion partial suction with axillary suspension used in those amputees who are unable to don full suction socket or cannot tolerate socket without stump sock Suction socket valve is used over amputees wear stump socks as well. It is also closely fitted but not as close as in total suction socket. So
so patient can pull socket without donning sock. During swing phase, the pull away of prosthesis is resisted by passer suction created as a close fit of socket stop free airway through stump sock. Passer suction alone cannot hold socket on the stump, thus require auxiliary suspension in the form of Salesian bandage or pelvic belt. Salesian bandage. It is light webbing band as shown in figure attached to the socket in such a way that there is very little resistance to trunk motion. Attachment. One end is attached on the later proximal surface of socket at greater to canter level. Then it encircles the pelvis. Other end is attached on the anterior wall on the vertical midline at each level. This suspension system alone is sufficient if patient have firm and strong muscles and fitted with quadrilateral socket. But if quadrilateral socket is not used, this system is used with suction or passer suction socket to provide rotational control and lateral stability in amputees with weak muscle and short flabby stump. It also provides safety factor to amputees having suction socket and engage in climbing or similar activities. It is successfully used as psychological aid in amputees who feel insecure from suction socket alone, which means after they feel secure in suction socket, they can remove the Salesian bandage. Pelvic belt. It may be used with parser suction suspension or alone when both suction and parser suction suspension are not feasible. Construction and attachment. It is made up of semi-rigid leather and metal belt encircling the pelvis and attached to the prosthesis by being of hip joint, which is fastened to the later superior aspect of the socket. To avoid undesirable motion and pressure of the pelvic belt, hip joint should be placed accurately above and ahead of greater to canter, as close as possible to the normal anatomical hip joint. Advantages of pelvic belt include hold prosthesis securely, control rotation, help reduce forces and promote medial stability. While these advantages include restrict motion of pelvic and trunk, interfere with sitting comfort, noisy, tear clothes and present maintenance problem, contribute to piston action, leather which is used absorb perspiration and become unsanitary, less cosmetic and heavy, when patient have poor gait. Indications are empathy with short and poor shaped stump, tame, feeble and poor coordination, using pelvic bell for ear, having difficulty in adjustment with suction socket. Special devices. There are some conditions like excessive obesity, pregnancy, scar tissue, skin disorder or deformity in which above mentioned suspension system cannot be used. In these conditions, prosthesis are suspended by shoulder strap or attachment with the girder or combination of both can be used to meet the unusual requirements. Rotator unit as empathy walks socket end to twist on amputator limb, causing shearing effect at stump socket interface. Some of this torsional force is absorbed by foot ankle assembly so that the remaining forces are not troublesome. In other cases, particularly in active amputees, this torque is a great source of discomfort. To cope with this problem, a torque absorber rotator mechanism is used as shown in figure. The unit is interposed between lower end of the shank and upper end of foot ankle assembly. Resilient material present in upper and lower attachments of this unit permits rotation of the shank while the foot is in contact with the floor. Modular construction of above knee prosthesis. It utilizes the same principle as used in below knee modular construction of prosthesis. A shank tube with adapters at both ends connect knee unit and foot ankle assembly. Similarly, a thigh tube with adapter at both ends connect knee unit and socket assembly. The desired alignment relationship is achieved by tilting tubular elements and making appropriate adjustments by utilizing adjustable adopters. Once socket is fitted and modular prosthesis is assembled and properly aligned, a foam covering is applied and shaped to provide acceptable appearance. Thank you for listening.